Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of July. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather not going to change a lot. Hot, humid, scattered storms. The tropics are very active and probably will be for a while, so get used to it. Let's dive in and talk about it. There's the upper air look, and you've seen this before. Ridging across the south, jet stream on top of the ridge, easterlies below the ridge. And within those easterlies, there is a tropical wave in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, there's the visible satellite view. Most of the storms north of Interstate 20 today, over the northern third of the state. You can see those pockets of convection there. And that was the radar at 226. Scattered showers and storms over the northern part of the state. But again, they could form it anywhere this evening. Temperature's not too bad today. Mostly upper 80s, low 90s. Although Tuscaloosa's managed to rise up to 95 today. Birmingham at 89. And that's below average. That's where the sun's shining. And the dew points are still high. It's muggy and humid and steamy, the way it ought to be in late July. Here's the watch warning map up on the middle Atlantic coast, a severe thunderstorm watch and flash flood watches for some of the states there. And on top of that, it's hot heat advisories in that same region. Otherwise, things are quiet. Severe storms a possibility in that same zone through tonight. Cities like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, and New York City. A marginal risk just northeast of Alabama and also one for the southeastern tip of the state down around Dothan. Tomorrow, a marginal risk again just north of here, middle and eastern Tennessee and points north and east. And on day three, which is Friday, a marginal risk way up north. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain amounts here relatively light, but again, we stress your number will vary from this. This is just a, a mean, an average, if you will. A total's under one half inch, but with the heavier storms pop you know you'll get more than that. All right, tropical fans. Here we go in the Atlantic Basin. Two systems on the board. We've got Tropical Storm Gonzalo in the Atlantic, kind of a low-latitude system, and Tropical Wave in the Gulf that will likely be a depression soon. First off, here's a look at Gonzalo. Top winds, 50 miles per hour, and uh, this will likely become a hurricane tomorrow. Here's the track from the Hurricane Center. They bring it into the Windward Islands Saturday. And note it strengthens into a hurricane tomorrow, but then weakens back to a tropical storm Saturday. It comes through the islands with uh, some drier air and sinking air motion. And then it moves up into the Caribbean. And the question is, what happens from there? Well, this is the uh, European ensemble output. And almost all the members bring it up into the Gulf if it survives and that's, you know, an if. Uh, here's a look at the intensity guidance, and you can see there's a school of thought where it weakens and maybe even dissipates in the Caribbean because of dry air and bone-crushing subsidence. But there's a camp that kind of keeps it as a Category 1 hurricane uh, throughout 132 hours. So, again, really more questions than answers with this thing, but it's a long way out there, just something to watch. Closer to home, Invest 91L. Uh, this thing is expected to become Tropical Depression 8 fairly soon. Uh, the circulation center is in the Gulf south of Mobile, well south of Mobile. And this will be moving into Texas. The confidence is high. It's just going to be a big rainmaker one way or the other if it's a depression, a, a weak storm. Uh, here's a look at the intensity guidance. And again, a number of the models uh, keep it as a depression. Got a few that bring it up to Tropical Storm Strength, but mainly a rainmaker. This is output from the... Uh, Europeans suggesting parts of South Texas may be receiving over one foot of rain from this thing. And they could need that. You know, sometimes these tropical systems do bring beneficial rain. So at this point, looks like a big rainmaker for the southern half of Texas in about four to eight days. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, ridging across the south, troughing in the west. And tomorrow, like today, hot and muggy, a few storms, low to mid-90s. Same thing on Friday. Saturday as the weekend begins, just not a lot of change. Highs, I'd say, 91 to 94 in most spots. A few pop-up storms around. This is Sunday. Evidence moisture might be a little deeper. But still, it's the same idea. Hot, humid, scattered storms. Next week, not much change on Monday. Tuesday, again, we're seeing evidence in really the global models. The moisture could be deeper with an increase in the number of showers and storms. And this is a week from today, Wednesday the 29th. 
of July. Still got a ridge, still humid with scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms. So perhaps Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we'll see an increase in the number of storms with uh, the air aloft a little colder, the air more unstable and moisture levels higher. Let's go out 10 days. This is Saturday, August 1st. Summer's flying along. Uh, got a northwest flow aloft nearby, and uh, those can be tricky, but again, for now, we'll just roll with the persistence forecast. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean, a little over two inches. Highs, low to mid 90s, lows, low to mid 70s into early August. And hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook, July 30th through August 5th, showing temperatures near average or maybe even below average through parts of the mid south. And that's a good time of the year for temperatures to be below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.